Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is probably my last big haul of 2015. Uh, this is for the weekend of October 23rd and 24th. Um, you know, the season's pretty much over now, unfortunately. I checked the newspaper and Craigslist today and there's hardly anything going on over Halloween weekend. So, you know, it's just going to be drips and drabs from, from now on. Um, but I did have a really good last weekend. Friday was um, a really good day. You know, it was one of those days where every sale you go to, you find something, you know, pretty good. And that hardly ever happens. Usually you have to drive all over the place and get frustrated. And then, um, you know, you end up hitting one or two good ones that make it worth going out, but you hardly ever have a day where just about every sale there's something really good at. So, um, I'm gonna start showing you guys everything that I bought and, you know, I know it's the last haul of the year, but I've been so slow at uploading videos and I'm so behind that you guys might, you know, see this in March right before the season starts for 2016. Who knows? Anyway, um, the first sale that I went to was a rummage sale at a church about 20 minutes away. I ended up finding this one by accident last year when I went out to the rummage sale at the Jewish Community Center um, that I found for the first time last year. I went to that sale and on my way out of it, I saw a sign for this other one that just happened to be the same day. Fortunately, they didn't have theirs on the same day this year, so I was able to get to this one right when it started. And their prices, they had a price list, but then if you had a lot of stuff, they just kind of looked at it and said, eh, give me this, which those are the ones I love. So I'm just going to show you everything and let you know that I paid $15 for everything that you're about to see from this sale, so less than a dollar per item. So I got some coffee mugs. This is like a chalkboard mug you can write with a chalk marker or regular piece of chalk on this, I'm assuming. And this is from Bath & Body Works. All the mugs are like in brand new condition. Got this Simpsons mug with Homer looking at his donut and then scarfing down his donut. That is from 2003. And then this last one is one of those really big ones, and it's got um, that old postcard look to it. Greetings from the Jersey Shore, and that's from Nantucket. And yeah, this is one I can like fit my whole fist in. This is probably a like a thirty ounce, something like that. Gosh, no problem selling uh, the Simpsons in the Jersey one. I don't know about the chalkboard one. Never had one of those before. Then I found one piece of clothing. You guys know I'm not really big on clothing. But I had to buy this because it was really cute. I knew I could sell it in time for Thanksgiving. And it's Jimbery and it was in, you know, like brand new condition. Uh, found one Bible there. This is a Tyndale Compact Holy Bible, New Living Translation. Um, only bad thing was, and I, it might be hard to see, there's a line like across it. Somebody had put a piece of duct tape all the way around it, I guess, so that it was easily identifiable if they went, if they took it someplace. So I was able to get it off. It's not sticky anymore or anything, but there still is a faint line, but that should be no big deal. Otherwise, it's in like, you know, brand new condition. And got this whole big set of Firm Express workout DVDs. There's 13 in there. I um, actually might keep this one for myself for a little while to see how I like it. And, um, you know, depending, I'll either keep it or sell it. But definitely a good deal for less than a buck. Got this, this little set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, not my style at all. I think they're kind of creepy, but <laughs> they're from Bella Casa uh, and Gans. 
Uh, the artist's name is Susan Paley, which is hard to see there. But this is Marla and Maggie. She also made a whole line of vases um, that look like people like this. This one has a tiny little flea bite chip right here that I noticed after I bought it, but that shouldn't be a big deal because you can't really see it once it's standing. And let's see, what else did I get there? Oh, got this little pewter horse. Didn't really know what it was from. It had a mark on the bottom and I didn't have my loop with me. and It was hard to see, but I thought it said Briar on the bottom, which it did. Um, Briar makes a lot of horse like horse figurines you know for kids kind of the nicer ones that you would you can either play with them or you can just you know have them sitting out as, as decorative but I don't usually see anything pewter from them this is from the movie uh, spirit about the horse on the what is it spirit something of the Cimarron or I don't remember but anyway this horse's name is rain I guess one of the characters in the movie which I haven't seen should be able to make about, I don't know, 10 to 15 on that. Then I just bought this because it was odd looking and I knew my daughter would get a kick out of it. It looks to me like a little llama or alpaca candle holder. It feels like it's made of like clay pottery. Um, but you never know with this weird folk art stuff. It doesn't have any signature on it or anything, but... I can't find another one on eBay, so you never know with that kind of stuff. And oh, I got one of these. I already sold a set of these earlier this year for I think like $40 or something like that. I sold a husband and wife set. This is a Lolita Love My Wine glass. They're hand painted. This one says best sister ever. I'm not going to take it out of the thing because it's all brand new and wrapped up in there. But they're really nice wine glasses, nice gift items for less than a buck. Um, <clears throat> I think I can get about 20 out of that. Then I just threw in this little cable car, I don't know, tchotchke ornament, whatever you want to call it. Probably really not worth more than like five bucks. So that might go in the, the donate box, who knows. And then last but not least from that sale, I got a lot of stuff in the beauty section. You guys know that first thing I go for at a rummage sale is I look for the craft section to look for needlework kits, which there were none of. And then I go to the beauty section to search for um, vintage perfume or discontinued perfume, stuff like that. So what I found was a bottle of this. This is Donna Karen Gold. Uh, this is Eau de Toilette. Not really worth too much, maybe like 10 bucks on that. Then I found a full bottle of this Eau de Jardin. Uh, this is from Clarins. Should be able to make, I'm trying to think, I think like 30, something around there on that. And then this is a bottle of, what is this, Estee Lauder Pleasures Delight Parf er, Perfume Spray or Eau de Parfum, however you want to say that. This one looks to be full or just about, so I can't remember what the uh, selling prices on this were either, but probably at least, at least like 20, maybe more on that. And then my best buy at this sale, it was just kind of an impulse. I saw them and threw them in my bag, and I, I'm glad I followed my, my impulse. I bought three sandwich bags of these nail polishes. These are all julep nail polishes. A couple of them are brand new in the box. All different colors, all different kinds. There's regular, there's pearlized ones. Uh, this bag is all basically glitter nail polishes. And I know you can get these separately, but you, there's also like a monthly subscription program you can get with these and you get like I guess four or five of them a month or something like that I have no idea how much they are as you can see I don't <laughs> I don't do my nails I just don't have time I don't even have time to upload a video when, when am I gonna have time to do my nails anyway I got all three of these like I said maybe total it was like two bucks for all of them 
Um, I'm probably going to put them all up together. It could potentially make like over a hundred dollars. There's I think 32, 32 bottles total in here and they sell really well. So if you guys find these out and about, pick them up. All right. So that was it for the rummage sale. And it was funny cause I got there and there was already a little bit of a line. But I got in the back of the line and I'm standing there and I have my two big, huge, industrial sized tote bags over my shoulder and I'm standing there reading a book and I hear these two people talking behind me and the guy says to the the lady that was next to me, he goes, wow, he goes, look at her, he goes, she's, she's ready, she's got bag, she's got a bag and everything. And I turned around and I go, yeah, I got two. I said, you know, one for the... Uh, I said, I have one if I have breakable stuff, and then the other one if I have more breakable stuff and I don't want it to knock against each other, then I have my other one. He's like, wow, you're really prepared. I'm like, yep, I got my two bags, my phone, my keys, my money, my book. I'm like, that is my rummage sale list. Now I just got to remember to bring my loop next time because I always forget to bring that. Okay, so moving on. Um, let's see, the next sale I went to, I get there. I got some beauty products there also, and their prices were like dirt cheap. So I found a bottle of this Sheer Love Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret. Not really worth that much, maybe eight to ten bucks, but I paid fifty cents. And then I got this vanilla lace body lotion also from Victoria's Secret. Again, I think it's only worth about eight to ten. Then I got some Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty products. This is her popular skincare line. Got this as a skin brightening decollete and neck treatment. I got two of those brand new and sealed. Is this one sealed? I know it's not. Alright, well, it feels full though. Alright, anyway. Paid a dollar a piece for all of these. This one is an antioxidant day cream, and this one is a lifting eye cream advanced formula. Um, these are all worth about 10 bucks a pop. And the other thing I like about beauty products is they're pretty self-explanatory and they're very easy to list. And the last thing I think I got from there was this. This is a set of four one ounce bottles of Eau de Toilette from Bath and Body Works. You guys know I love to buy Bath and Body Works. This is Japanese Cherry Blossom, Black Amethyst, Sweet Pea, and Butterfly Flower. Some are a little more popular than the others. Uh, I can't find anything comparable to this on eBay. So I think instead of sen the sending, yeah, sending, selling all four of these all together, I'm going to split them up. Um, because, you know, a lot of people are really picky about fragrances and they don't usually want like a whole big set like this of different ones. So I'm going to put these up separately for about 15 a piece with free shipping and should have no problem selling them that way. And I think I paid about, I think I paid two bucks for that. Okay, moving on. Um, hit another sale and what did I get there? Well, I know I got these in the free box. I know I bought something else from there, but I can't remember. Maybe it was for me. It might have been for me or my daughter, because I did buy a few things for us. But anyway, I found a whole bunch of exercise DVDs, so I bought those. This is the McDonald's Yoga DVD, which I've never even heard of in my life. Anyway, um, I'll probably just throw it in with these. These are Bender Ball uh, DVDs. This one, there's something rattling around in there. Even though it's sealed, I'm probably going to have to open that up because that doesn't sound right. Um, then there's another one that's sealed up. Another one. And then these are also by the same company. These are gliding DVDs where you have these gliding pads. I sold some of these earlier in the season, just the, the gliding pads. Um, then you use these on, you know, like a hardwood or a tile floor and do your workout. 
So I'm probably going to sell these together and then sell these with, I have another bender ball. I have an actual bendel, bendel ball. God, I can't talk today. Bender ball. And it's one of these little inflatable balls that you exercise with. I have one upstairs with some DVDs, like a whole set that I found at another rummage sale. I kept it and tried it out for myself and I'm not a big fan at all. So I'm going to sell that with all of these and should be able to make about, and I guess 20 or a little bit more with this and the other kit that I have. And these should make about 10, which is fine because they were free. Um, and it just, you know, I wish my butt looked like that. <laughs> Isn't there a magic way to make yourself look that way? Oh, well. Moving on. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I also got for a dollar at that same sale, the Rocky Anthology, this has all the movies in it. I only sell them for like maybe 10 to 15, not great, but like I said, only paid a buck. Then I went to a sale, I've, I went there last year, the lady's prices are kind of out of control, and you know, she, I don't know, she wants retail for a lot of stuff. So I wasn't really optimistic when I got there, once I realized that I was, you know, at one I'd been to before, I hadn't recognized her address. But I found these, this is a whole set of, I guess she kept them in here so they wouldn't knock against each other, this clamshell packaging. This is a whole set of Mary Englebright uh, little cup ornaments. And I actually only paid two bucks for these. I can probably get about 30. So I was uh, happy that my driving all the way over there, you know, my efforts were not in vain. And, oh, I know what else I bought at that sale where I bought the Rocky DVDs and the exercise DVDs. This is the other thing that I found there. This is adorable. This looks like a man's like pool bag, and it says Daddy's Little Project. And it's from Lillian Rose. This is actually a diaper bag. How cute is that? has all the little things you can put all that you put the bottles on the ends and all that jazz paid five bucks and they sell all day long for about 50 and let's see next sale I went to was an unadvertised one that I found on my way to another one and I was happy I found it because they had some decent stuff I found this bottle of DKNY be delicious what is this I don't know if this is eau de toilette or cologne or whatever it is. It's almost full. Should be able to make, I think, 15 to 20 on that. And the best thing I found there was this. This is the Revo rotating hairbrush that is supposed to straighten your hair. I guess it heats up and then it, it rotates. And as it rotates, it straightens your hair. It's brand new in the box, just the box has been opened. Uh, there's a videotape in here, not a DVD, but still, it should sell for about, I don't know, like 70, 80 bucks, and I paid three for it, so I was really happy about that. And I showed it to my mom, and she just started laughing, and she goes, you know if either one of us tried this thing, we'd end up getting tangled up in it, or scalped, or, you know, end up having to cut it out of our hair, or be in the emergency room. Absolutely. Okay. Um, last but not least from Friday, I got some clothes. The only reason I bought them was because they were name brand and they were really cheap. I got this knit like jacket. It's purple from Ann Taylor Loft Petites. It's a size, what, small petite. It's really, you know, kind of cute. And I can't find another one on eBay. That was two. And then for three bucks, I bought this. This is like a Michael Kors tunic style dress, I guess you want to call it. Graphic print tunic dress. I'm going to get technical. Uh, hopefully make about 20 bucks on that, maybe 20 bucks on the jacket. And so I think that was it for Friday. Like I said, it was a pretty good day. And then Saturday was... <laughs> Saturday just stunk. 
but I did manage to get a few things. I got this Lennox, uh, what is this? Win the Winterfest, or no, Winter Greetings pattern, which some pieces in it can go for a lot, some pieces not so much. This is one of the not so much ones, um, maybe 10 to 15 on it. I paid five because she was doing the yard sale for um, charity. She was donating all the money. And I always feel bad when they, you know, quote me a price and I don't want to haggle with them for that kind of stuff. So for the bowl and for this cake server, also from that collection, I paid 10 for both. So five a piece, which is more than I wanted to, but I wasn't finding anything and it's for charity. So why not? And plus I ended up getting a really good deal from her uh, on another thing I'm about to show you. Then I got this at a different sale. This is a... Jordan or Jordan lighted makeup mirror. It's not brand spanking new in here, but uh, it's in really good shape. I just had to um, wipe a little dust off of it. Works fine. Paid five. Should be able to make about 20 on that. And last but not least, from that charity yard sale, I got this, which says Schlick and Turk. This is from Germany, and I probably have the wrong side of the box. Yes, opens from this side. This is a. Now you can see it. This is an electric lighted candle arch. As you can see, it's got it's got seven electric lights on top. It has a. This is a double arch because it has a panel in front of. This comes off. It has a panel in front of this other panel right here, and there's uh, there's lights down here also. Really, really pretty. And oh, I'm gonna put this back together right now. You get the gist. Anyway, I was all happy I found it because German stuff, especially Christmas time, can do really well. And then I came home and I went to test it, and I realized it's got a German plug on it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I don't have a converter. So, I have to find one. All right, I'm going to run out of time here. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll let you know if, if I get a converter for this. And uh, good luck, and I'll talk to you soon.